so hello everyone uh, today uh, i'm going to like explain you how to install a wonderful uh, text recognition tool that is known as ruby studio in uh, this small video session so for installing uh, this uh, label studio you can go and check uh, loop label studio in the search bar so label studio is an open source uh, tool uh, platform where it can be used for labeling various type of uh, like uh, things like images you can use it for image labeling you can use it for nlp you can use it for machine learning and uh, object classification object detection uh, semantic segmentation or uh, or what else so and the best part is it's come with an open source uh, community like slack so you can join the community in Slack and you can start like discussing the issues if you feel like. But before that, how to install this for uh, uh, generally Windows platform. This video is uh, regarding how to install this uh, using a Windows platform. So all this thing is available on uh, the document uh, part here. You go and check the documentation part and you have multiple options for installing you can install it with pip you can install it with docker you can install it on ubuntu um, from the source on anaconda and you can upgrade that. but what we are doing is we are using the installation using anaconda so for that you need to go and download anaconda for windows once you downloaded this and you installed this you will get a uh, uh, anaconda navigator right once you go and install this anaconda in your system it will take hardly 10 or 15 minutes so you will get a, a anaconda navigator like this so inside the anaconda navigator what you need to do you can see a, a powershell prompt here right our powershell prompt uh, it will be helping us to uh, like bringing up the label studio interface and then uh, starting logging into this and creating uh, like projects and annotating, annotating the things. So once you get to Anaconda Navigator after installing the Anaconda, then you just click this PowerShell and within minutes a PowerShell like this will turn up, right? Initially it will be a blank screen and there are certain commands that you need to know uh, for uh, installing the Anaconda and the commands are already uh, available here if you go and check anaconda you have this uh, three commands basically create a uh, conda create name label studio and then you have to activate uh, the label studio and you don't want to install this uh, you can install this and then you have to start the label studio okay so label studio start command is also available somewhere upstairs here if you want to check you can check it's label studio or label to start okay so let us go back to uh, the PowerShell. In here you can see I have written one command when we start the base of this PowerShell using Conda. And uh, it is installed certain uh, things here. It started the environment and it, it's highlighted that you want to activate uh, this particular uh, environment. So it said to activate the environment, use Conda Activate Label Studio, which is same as uh, this which, I, which we saw here. Uh, like Conda Activate Label Studio. So we activated this uh, Conda Activate Label Studio here. So it activated and it uh, fetched the, all the libraries, all the packages that need to uh, really to work with Label Studio. So once you are done with all these packages and work, you come back to uh, the command prompt okay the command prompt is label studio and the command prompt of your system right once you are there then you have to start label studio start so you have to start the label studio because the label studio works with sql light initially you need to the system will try to install sql light and then you can use it with various other supports available uh, for working with uh, label studio so when you put this command label studio start the system will start uh, like the system the server and you will get a local host request like this okay so it will start a development server with a local host at port 8080 once you do this if you want to quit you can quit the servers by control and break 
once you are done with this the system will come up with an interface like this okay localhost 8080 user login this will be turning up you as a first time user you have to sign up with uh, your email id and your password once you do this you log in so it will in the sign up mode you have to parse it once you are done it will be in the login state once you log in it will just create the interface for you wherein you can come in to come up with the interface of label studio and inside this you can create projects and once you create a project uh, i hope the system is up and running For this point here, you come into that particular uh, projects here. So what I have created one project for myself, working on this. But uh, what you can say, you can create a project from the create option. And in the next video, we will be looking into how you uh, actually uh, create a project and do an annotations about this. Thank you.